Next up, we have two columns, which is a perfect place to use the float property. For the left column, let's use the aside element, which is common for sidebars and other tangential content. For the main column, we'll group it all together in a section element. We'll start with some basics so that we can see these columns, width, height, and a border. Then let's float them left and right. Next, we're going to fill in the content for the aside. We're going to fast forward through this just because it's mostly CSS basics, not specific to layouts. Check out our final code or post in the study group if you have any questions about this. The left aside looks good. Let's move to the right section. Same deal here, so we'll fast forward again. Finally, we'll throw in a left margin on the aside and a right margin on the section so they're not right on the edge of the page. We'll wrap it all up by turning off the borders. Looks good. Next up, we'll add the footer. 